In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step guide to create perfect QR code for your PDF file, a step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's begin. But before we dive into the tutorial, if you are brand new to this channel, remember to click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell. So each time I post valuable content like this, you'll be notified. So with that being said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. So let's see how to create perfect QR code for your PDF file. All right, so the very first thing you need to do is to open up your browser. Then you have to come to the address bar right here and make sure you type in me dash keyhub.com press enter then still to take you to this particular web page right here next thing you want to do is to navigate to the top right here and uh, make sure you click on this drop down and then make sure you choose pdf then the next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on upload pdf file so here's my pdf i'm going to select on that and i'll click on open Have you upload your pdf next thing you want to do is to name the pdf so this one is going to be template then you can choose category right here so i'm going to put it in fine art then come down below here click on customize and download qr So it's going to take you to this particular page right here now let's start with frames section so under the frame section this is where you need to choose the right frame for your q hub so you can simply click on plus 45 right here so this allows you to choose from variety of frame right here so you can simply scroll down and choose anyone you will like for your q hub so right here i'm going to choose this scan me right here so I'm going to select this Kami template. Having select Kami template, I'll click on apply. So we are done with the frame section. So let's take a look at some other things we can use to customize our QR. So right here under the frame background, we can change the color. We can click on color palette right here and we change the color to another color of our choice. Let's for instance, I want to change to this type of blue right here. So I like this color. Then I'm done with the frame and the frame background. Now let's move to additional text right here. So under the additional text, this allows you to change the scan me to another thing entirely. So I'm going to change it to PDF document. I'm going to change from uppercase. So document. okay then i can simply come here and change the font style i'm going to change it to time new roma then the color here is still in white so i'm going to leave it that way then the next thing you want to work on is body patterns so under the body patterns this is where you need to choose the pattern of your choice so by default we have this we have about six different patterns so you can choose anyone that you love out of the patterns right here so i'm going to leave it in this particular one right here now for the pattern you can also change the color of the pattern for you to do that just click on here and then you have to navigate with the color from the color palette right here so you can decide to change to another color right here so um, all right so once you're satisfied with the color then you can assist from the pattern body color and move to another part so the next part right here is where you need to choose external eye patterns and internal eye pattern so external eye pattern is a situation is like frame okay so like this one right here we have a we have a rectangle shape we have circle shape we have rounded corner rectangle so this is depends on anyone you would like then the inner eye right here you can change it to complete full rectangle for the inner eye you can change it to circle so everything depends on how you want it to look like you can also change the color of the eye right here click on here and then you can play around with the color so you can see the color has been changed so once you satisfy with the color you can assist from there and uh, you move to the next section the next section here allow you to add logo to your QR. 
if you have a brand logo you can just simply click on upload image then you adjust your logo with the logo size slider right here then you are good to go finally you have to come down below right here where you need to download the qr code but before that you have to choose the format of the file so if i click on here we have about five different file formats that you can download or for free png svg pdf eps or jpeg so i'm going to leave it in jpeg file format then you have to come to the size then i'm going to leave it in five one thousand five hundred by one thousand five hundred pixels then lastly i have to come down below here and make sure i click on download qr code boom in a few seconds the QR code will be downloaded successful once it's downloaded successful i'm going to click on here to close the pump up then i then i will have to go to my download folder right here and click on my templates so we have it right here as jpeg so we can simply track this particular QR code now to read the pdf so for us to do that i have to head over to my phone to run the scan okay so the first thing i need to do is to head over to my phone camera right here so i want to scan this particular qr code and then read the pdf so i'm going to click on my camera right here then you have to make sure you head over to your camera settings right here then you have to scroll down and make sure your scan qr code is enabled okay then let's go back then we can position it into the qr code so you can see it has been recognized then i will just tap then simply load up and we can simply read the pdf document it's as simple as that so this is how to create qr code for your pdf document a step by step tutorial i hope you really got value for this video if you find this video useful give this video give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now